Many survivors of the Boston Marathon bombings are running with Team 415 to create new memories of the race. Shantae Lands is live in Boston tonight with their story. Uh, Katie, that's right. The sign bears it all. Boston Strong. Well, I spoke with a team of survivors that goes by the name 415 Strong. This room is filled with runners. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, a little pre-race jitters. One group is called 415 Strong. It's named after the date of the Boston Marathon bombings. Now we're here making some good things happen. Most of their team, of at least 25 runners, are survivors. It's the wrong place at the wrong time. We were um, watching the runners come in. We were at the finish line when the first bomb went off. It was a very bright flash off to my left, um, and then everything went really quiet. Dave Fortier lost his hearing on the left side and shrapnel went through part of his foot. I ended up in a heap on the grounds um, over by the grandstands. Elizabeth Birmingham was burned. We got pretty lucky to have um, only sustained rather minor injuries. Fortier gathered a group and co-founded 415 Strong. After the bombings, I said, never again. No, 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 no. I'm done with running, not Boston. Their goal is to grow and heal together. As time went on and I started to meet other people, I started to recover. Building an unbreakable bond. Those bombs created a family, and they created friendships that last. There's a whole lot more good in the world than bad. Yeah, there is bad, and you hear about it, but you see the people in the room, you see the relationships that are here. There's a whole lot more good, and we want to share that. And the group wants to keep running. Next up, a cross-country run. They plan to name it World Strong. Live in Boston, Shantae Lands, Go Easy News.